All right. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. I'm going to see if I can't get this light to turn on. There we go. So what I got, man, is a, uh, got a bunch of crap. All kinds of tools I've been working with. It's going to go on this uh, 3.7 right here on my Dodge. Uh, the theory of what I'm going to do is, like I did last time, so I'm probably going to wind up mounting the tank right here and then probably come up and over. But I'm not sure if I want to come up and away from this engine and dump it down here. Uh, just because of the fan blade, I'm afraid I might get into it. I may run it this way and then back over here. But anyhow, let me show you what I got. So what I changed up this time I think was pretty cool. Sorry about that. Um, is... I went with a smaller container. Yeah, that's some glue. I'm trying to figure out how to stop the uh, vacuum leak. So I'm going to do what they call a plastic weld on it and see if that works. But anyhow, I took a, uh, instead of a 14-inch pipe, I went down to about 10. And then I put a washout end cap with a washout cap on top, 4-inch plug on the bottom. That's it. Okay? And I will show you how I built my electrodes in here so all i did this is off my very first one i built and it worked perfect so all i did guys is i took some well this ain't stainless my ones are now but i take stainless steel if i can find them nuts and bolts gotta be long enough i i used all thread okay and i just ended it here and then ended there and then you know sawed it off but i take about 10 washers, five on each side, for this size of a tank. And like I say, it's probably about 12 inches grand total. And I take an all-thread rod, which you can see the tops of it right here, okay? And I go down about, probably about that far with my rod. You add more, I have found out that this creates more heat. Um... I also found out that if you run it more than 32 amps, it will not produce hydrogen the way it should. For some reason, it burns off. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I get the comments. I'm probably going to get them now. That's fine. Um, I don't care if I'm producing fuel from another source of energy. I don't really care. This isn't scientific rockets. I mean, dude, this is like redneck science. Seventh grade, I just figured out and invented how to bypass a lot of this bullshit electrical systems and ran old school, and it worked for me. If you don't believe me, go look at it on YouTube. But uh, to be continue on part two, until then, See you on the flip side. Fish on, redneck science.